First of all, how do you view the U.S. response to the balloon incident? Well, the U.S. response was was certainly an overreaction. Uh, you know, there's no ins- no evidence whatsoever that this balloon was doing anything uh, in, in, inappropriate or improper. Uh, you know, even uh, even the 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 government officials and the reporters that talk about this have to say, have to agree, have to acknowledge that this is that they say it's a suspected spy balloon. But I think they have to say that because there's no evidence, there's no indication, there's no proof that it was anything other than a completely benign uh, weather balloon or or communications balloon, something like that. And the fact that it was shot down, the fact that they they have had uh, you know weeks now to recover uh, any information from it, and yet there's still no indication that it was any doing anything wrong or was in any way really. Uh, anything other than just a, a, a civilian uh, research uh, object, a research balloon. And of course, now uh, the Americans have been forced to admit that uh, it wasn't actually sent to pass over the United States, but was blown off course uh, by unanticipated weather patterns. So yes, I think very much so that it was an overreaction. So, uh, we we yeah, can debate ahead. about why that kind of reaction took place. But yeah, I definitely think it's an overreaction. Yeah, definitely. That actually leads to my next question. Why would the U.S. hop up and escalate the situation if it's a weather balloon? Why you keep on saying it's a spy balloon? Well, I think that this is sadly part of the overall attitude of of uh, hostility and uh, and aggression towards China, which has become characteristic of American political leaders in both parties and uh, of the American uh, corporate media, that uh, China is is automatically suspect. China is automatically viewed in a negative light. And uh, so when this balloon was uh, was was observed, uh, they, the only interpretation that they could come up with, the only way that they could think about it was in a hostile uh, attitude. So I think that 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 shaped their reaction. And of course, once they started that, uh, once they they began to say, oh, it's, it's a spy balloon, they they sort of trapped themselves, even as I think they began to realize that that there wasn't really anything going on. Uh, and, and so, you know, they just got caught up, I think, in their own rhetoric and their own uh, uh, attitude. And it's become very, very embarrassing. I think that it's embarrassing here for the American people. Uh, some of our, our comedy shows on television have been making fun of the leaders for this. And I think for people around the world, it makes the United States look look pretty silly. Uh, you know, that we went on and shot down three other uh, completely innocent aircraft uh, uh, that, that had nothing to do with, with anything, uh, simply, simply as a waste of... Uh, of resources and 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 just a hysterical kind of reaction. After the bloom incident, um, some raised the question of whether the U.S. and China have the ability to manage a crisis nowadays, especially an accidental crisis. What's your take on that? Well, I think that's a very good question. I think it's a very important question. Uh, you know, the United States has been engaging in many provocative actions. Uh, in the South China Sea, in Hong Kong, uh, around the question of of the status of Taiwan, the United States has has made many gestures, many statements, taken many actions, which can only be seen as as efforts to to provoke China to try to to intensify the feelings of conflict. Uh, and China's response to all these has been very restrained, very calm. Not uh, not getting hysterical, not not shouting and and uh, you know and and speaking out in in in, in immoderate terms, uh, but American politicians, partly because our political system is not based on a, a very long term perspective, but it's always politicians are always looking to the next election and even more than that the next news story, and they compete with each other as to who's going to be tougher and who's going to be more outspoken. And so, uh, you know, it's a it, it, it drives the, the, the psychology, in a sense, of American politics drives these people to say things that they don't really they don't think about enough. 
And I think that it's a, it's a very dangerous kind of, uh, of response.